Ah uh, yes, a question that has been asked since Rocket League first came out. How do I hit GC or even higher with all these new ranks being released at the end of the year? Well I myself have solo queued through the ranks time and time again and there are some major things that I've realised that can help anyone climb those ranks and get that shiny title at the end of the road. Also I'd like to point out a great way to improve your ability is a website called Six Mans. It's in every region and can really help bring your game to the next level by playing with proper comms and at a higher level which will force you to be faster and you will improve so much quicker. Also I'd suggest playing in weekly and monthly tournaments. This will really help you improve your skill by playing at a higher level and you'll develop so much as a player. Also just wanted to let you guys know that I do stream over at Twitch. I'll leave the link in the description below. Be sure to come hang out. I'm almost to 1000 followers. It'd be amazing if we could get there. If you have any other questions about the video, be sure to come let me know over there. If not, you can leave a comment down below. Alright, first up, I want to cover getting in a proper warm-up. This is so often overlooked, but in my eyes, it's the most important thing because you're in the right mindset to play your ranked matches and it is so beneficial and will really help out a lot. Warm-ups can be whatever you want. I usually jump into a warm-up and I just try and hit the ball around as fast as possible, forcing those awkward touches and practicing those mechanics. I would highly suggest doing this before every ranked session, but a warm-up can be whatever you want. It can be flip resets, it can be ceiling shots. Whatever helps you practice those mechanics and puts you in the right mindset of you're here to play and it will benefit you heaps going into these ranked sessions. One other thing I love to do is this Devo training pack. Now, I can't hit it all the time, but it really just helps me practice the speed, practice those precise hits, and I can really get a lot out of this before I start my Rocket League session. I would highly recommend jumping into the Devo training pack. If you want to see what training pack it is, be sure to stop the video and the code will be right there. Another one I love is this fast aerials. This really helps me practice those fast aerials that I need to get up to the ball in time and really helps me warm up. I would highly suggest doing this one and just try different things with it and try and find the fastest way to get to the ball. Now if you are on PC, make sure you're taking advantage of these workshop maps. You've probably seen so many pros do this one and it is the best one to practice that ball control, especially for ones and dribbling. I always just try and run through the course, get a flick at the end and just try and beat my previous time. I usually spend 10 or 15 minutes on this. Another really good one is this boomer mode practice. I just hit normal and it really helps practice those power shots, which I'll talk later in the video and helps you get that accuracy. I would highly recommend checking this one out and doing it before every rank session. All right, next up here, we have play patiently. Now this is a huge one, especially when you're solo queuing. As you can see here, I delayed my challenge, waited for the opponents to hit the ball directly to me and I have so much space to work with because I just played patiently. The amount of times your opponents will throw the ball away is astounding in this game mode. As you can see here in this game, I had two teammates that were pushing up the field a lot more. So I made sure that I took the role as third man and I was there to support. Whenever I pushed up and whenever I went for a challenge, I made sure there was someone behind me to back me up because that is the easiest way to stop those double commits and triple commits. When your opponents make a mistake, make sure to capitalize on it. Those are some great opportunities to score. One thing I always say is you can only control your car on the field. You can't control your teammates and you can't control your opponents. So if you're solo queuing, take that into account. Always be actively thinking of where your opponents are. As you can see there, my teammate went for the ball. I was aware of it. So I stayed back to stop at that double commit. And in turn, I managed to get a save. Make sure you're always actively thinking about where everyone is on the pitch, where you should be, and try and play accordingly to that. And hopefully you can find yourself climbing those ranks. All right, next up we have power shots, which is a huge thing when you're trying to climb those ranks and get that shiny title. Being able to hit the ball on target at higher speeds will make it really hard for your opponents to save as compared to a weak shot. This can be in any way. This can be in aerials. This can be in ground shots. This can even be in passes. Being able to snipe your teammates on the head will make it so much easier and bring the pace of the game a lot higher. Another great thing to do is practice EU clears. You can use this training pack, but there are plenty others out there. All you want to do is wait for the ball to just hit the backboard and hit it with as much power as possible. This is called an EU clear and it is so beneficial when bringing the attack back onto your opponents and applying that pressure. And as I said before, this workshop map is perfect for practicing with that power and that accuracy and putting them both into one. 
All right, next up, which is the most important one, is do not rotate ball sight. I guarantee you so many of you probably do this every game without realizing it, and it is one of the biggest things that can change the entire way you play. As you can see here, my teammate has gone for the ball, and instead of rotating out to the left, he's come down the right, which is the same side the ball is on, and I've had to move out of the way, which has caused me to make a really awkward hit. As you can see here, I have gone for the ball missed and now I have rotated the side of the ball and now I'm in such an awkward position and I've ended up forcing a double commit. What happens here is I decide to rotate the other side, not ball side, and I've been rewarded with a shot because I was there in a good position. Another huge one that you can do to self improve is to watch your own replays. So if you go to extra, replays, pick anyone that you've saved that you think you might not have played well or something might have happened that you want to see how you should have approached it. Make sure you go in it, watch the replay from your perspective, and you can really start to see where your problems are occurring and ways that you can fix it. It's the easiest way to self-improve. Look out for so many things of when you could have gone for the ball, when you decided to express back for full boost. So many things that occur each game, and this is the best way to look at it and to be very objective. Be very harsh on yourself. This is something that if you're self-evaluating through a replay, make sure you are harsh on yourself Make sure leading up to every goal, you can see what you could have done better. This is the best way that you're going to be able to improve by yourself. One more thing you can do is watch pro matches. Now, as obvious as it sounds, they're there for a reason. There's some great things you can learn off them and try to incorporate into your own game. And there we have it, guys. Those are my tips and tricks on how to improve in Rocket League. Let me know if you have any tips of your own or what you'd like to see me cover in another video. I will be looking at doing a lot more of these videos in depth of certain aspects in Rocket League, so subscribe if you'd like to see more of that. As I said before, I do stream over at Twitch. If you want to come ask me any questions live, feel free to stop in a chat and say hi. Other than that, I really hope you enjoyed the video and I hopefully see you in the next one.